One of the more useful shell utilities is the rm command or the remove command. This is used to remove files or directories from your system. The basic usage is you rm file one, file two. You, you can give it multiple arguments and it removes a file in this case. For example, if I wanted to create a file, I'm going to touch file one. And if I do an ls, I should have an empty file here called file one in my home directory. There it is. To remove it, I would just rm file one. And now if I ls, you can see file one is no longer here. Now, once again, let me touch file one and let me remove file one. And watch what happens when I tell it to also remove file two, which does not exist on my system. It says cannot remove file two, no such file. But if I ls, it did successfully remove file one. It just complained that file two did not exist. But sometimes, especially if you're using rm in a script, sometimes you don't want that error output for files that don't exist. So if I touch file one again and I up arrow and run remove file one and file two, but I don't want the error message. What I can do is I can give rm the dash f flag. This is the force flag. And what this will do is it will remove the files that exist, but it will ignore the non-existent ones and it will, won't give us that error message. And you see this time I don't get an error message about file two not existing, but it still removed file one. Now, RM is typically used to remove files. To remove directories, you have to give it some flags. If the directory is a empty directory, give it the dash D flag. So this is very similar to just your standard RMDIR command. Check my video on RMDIR if you don't know about the remove directory command, but RM dash D is basically the same. If there is an empty directory, it will remove it. Let me create a empty directory. So let's make dear test. That's an empty directory. If I try to rm the test directory, I'm going to get a complaint. Hey, that's a directory. Uh, you've got to add some flags for me to actually remove a directory. And in this case, because it's an empty directory, I'm going to rm d test and it removes that directory. Now, this is considered a safe way to remove a directory using the dash D flag because it forces you to actually go in the directory and empty it first. That way you're, you know exactly what you're deleting. You're just not blindly nuking a folder that may have some files in it that maybe you didn't want to delete. So this is the preferred method of deleting a directory is emptying it first and then removing the empty directory. Now the nuke and pave version of removing a, a non-empty directory is rm-r for recursive and then you know path to some directory this is going to remove this directory directory one and everything in it if it's got subdirectories it's going to remove all the subdirectories if it's got files in it if it's going to remove all the files it's going to remove all the files in the subdirectories anything all the contents of directory one are getting obliterated right so rm-r you have to be careful you need to make sure that you really want to delete this directory and all of the contents that may be within it and very similar to the cp command and the mv command the copy command the move command the remove command also has a a dash I flag for interactive mode. What this does, it prompts you before removing a file. So if I touch something, let's touch file one. So I created a file. Let me rm dash I file one. It's going to ask me, do I want to remove file one? Yes or no. So Y for yes, N for no. I'm going to decline by typing in. For safety reasons, many people like having the dash I flag as part of their standard RM command. So many people will create shell aliases for RM to always include the dash I flag, but it gets really annoying. Like if you gave this a directory that say had 100 files in it, it's going to ask you, do you want to delete that file? A hundred times, right? It, for every single file within that directory. So you're going to have to sit there and answer yes, 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 a hundred times. What you can do, though, if you do run into that situation where you're using a dash I on some directory that has a bunch of files, but you don't want to have to answer yes, there is a shell utility called the yes command that you got to actually pipe the rm dash I command into yes, and it will automatically answer why yes. 
to all of your questions. Now that is of course very dangerous because you're kind of overriding the safety feature which is the whole point of the interactive flag. And like so many shell commands you also have a verbose flag dash v. So this will give you output for each and every file and directory that it removes. For example let me go ahead and once again touch file one if I rm dash v file one you can see I get a confirmation removed file one and if I gave it a list of a hundred files to remove I would get a hundred lines it would say remove file one file two but you know I, I would keep getting output for everything that is successfully removed now if you want to learn more about the rm command type man rm in the terminal and read the man page for rm there's not much more to it than what I've shown you on this video but please if you have any questions read the manual